The final game of 2023 is upon us. The Chiba Jets host the San and Neo Phoenix here this Sunday. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us for B-League action. These two squads faced off each and faced each other here yesterday at the Funabashi Arena. And the San and Neo Phoenix got the better of Chiba, 90 to 81. The Chiba Jets have lost three of their last five games. The San and Neo Phoenix are on a three game winning streak. Well, the Jets want to be able to make sure they end the year on a good note. They want a victory here. Let's find out if they can as we take a look at some of the numbers from yesterday's affair. Good look there at Coach Atsushi Ono. Coach Ono is actually the coach of the Chiba Jets for quite a while before he actually moved over to the squad of San En. And he's actually transformed the San Enio Phoenix of 30 Ravenna into a title contender. Chiba Jets, always a title contender. One-time winner of the B-League, but they have really struggled as of late. As we take a look at the team standings, you can see the Chiba Jets in fourth spot there in the Eastern Conference, in first place, actually tied for the best record overall and number one in the Central Conference, the San Enio Phoenix at 21-4. and four. We got the lineup of the Chiba Jets. Their stars, of course. There's Ira Brown on your screen. They have number two, Yuki Togashi. One of the quickest, one of the best players in the B-League and all of Japan. Longtime national team member. On the other side of the coin, Kosuke Kanamaru, who will be coming off the bench, usually there for Coach Atsushi Ono, also a member of the Japanese national squad. That's him on your screens. Number 14, he'll be helped out by 30 Ravenna, number zero, and they also have their world imports. Number one, Yante Maten, number four, Cody Clark, and number 23, David Dudzinski. Let's take a look at a matchup between these two Klee players. Cody Clark on the right, number four, number 33, John Mooney on the left. They squared off yesterday. And look at these numbers. Scoring-wise, pretty even. 12 points for Mooney, 13 there for Cody Clark. But in rebounding, it was 16 to 3 in favor of John Mooney. Mooney was actually on the floor for essentially the entire ball game. <coughs> he played 38 minutes and 20 seconds. Cody Clark, on the other hand, was there for 27 minutes and 40 seconds. Nice look there at backup point guard Yamauchi. And now we have John Mooney stretching, getting ready. As we have the introductions for the players for today's final affair for 2023.
Fantastic number there to end the year. Final game of the Chiba Jets as they host a San Daniel Phoenix here this afternoon. And now we got the players. And there you have the starters for the Chiba Jets and of coach Sean Patrick. San Daniel Phoenix starting out with 30 Ravenna. They've got Cody Clark, number four. They've got number five, Sota Ora. Number 23, we talked about him earlier, David Dudzinski. And number 29, their gunner, Kazuki Hosokawa. So not in the starting lineup is their usual starting point guard, Ryusei Sasaki, number 24. Nice look there. At coach Atsushi Ono. Our officials today for our final game of the year, referee Ito, referee Matsumoto, and referee Maeki. Once again, the starters for both these squads, Chiba Jets, Katogashi, Ogawa, Cooks, Kanechika, and Mooney. For the visitors, it's Ravenna, Clark, Ora, Dudzinski, and Hosokawa. Big performers for the San Anilla Phoenix yesterday and their win, Yante Matin with 21 points, 14 rebounds, one assist, and three blocks. Sota Ora, 16 points, two boards, and three assists. Kosuke Kanemaru, their main gunner, with 15 points, one rebound, one assist. Cody Clark, 13 points, three boards, and three assists, and 30 Ravenna. All around game of nine points, six rebounds, and six assists. For the Jets, Yuki Togashi had 28 points, five assists. And two boards, not to mention he also had one steal. Xavier Cooks with 18 points, 10 boards, and three steals. John Mooney, monster game, 12 points, 16 boards, four steals, one block, and also two assists. Two players that really have to step up today. DJ Stevens, one of their world imports, he just five points, two boards. And Ira Brown, the natural life player, 40 year old. And with four points, three rebounds. Let's see if those three gentlemen can pick it up. For the Jets here, they forgot you once again. Showcasing his speed, lifts it up and through. To the zero, quickly. For the Jets. And it's a right back. Cody Clark from the outside, a little bit too strong. One and done. Here's the Gashi. He opened for it once again. Three tries. Nice swing. Look inside, Mooney with a slam. It's four to nothing. Good start here for the Jets. 
30 on the outside. So he'll bring it back out. And he sent the offense. Clark. And get over Gudzinski for three. Back rims that one. Offensive rebound. Another attempt. 30. Will he try to look to score? Sets up Clark. Clark to Ravenna. Ravenna's gonna miss the layup though. Let's go. Keep strong there for 30. Here come the Jets. And increase their lead. Early going to unmatch. Man game, so Gashi just slipped it up there. We're hoping Mooney might be able to get that rebound on the break. Clark. And a reset. The outside Ora. Ora. To the wing. That's his specialty. Hosokawa's gonna miss fire though. Still nothing. Here for the visitor early on. He's actually now trying to change the tempo. Floating down. Open three. A little bit too strong. That's touch last by Dudzinski. Four to nothing is our tally. Nice look there. Xavier Cooks. David with a hand up. 30. Ready to play and fold. Hosokawa for three. No. He's going to get fouled though. So three free throws coming up here. With a three point specialist of the San Emilio Phoenix. There's no space for him to land there. Holds the foul. Hosokawa picks the first personal foul and will also be replaced. Okura will check in. That's Sota Okura. That'll stay down. First point for the near Phoenix. Second one won't. He's a very good shooter. Let's take a look at this honor. Oh, Cody Clark is going to get the offensive rebound. Well, they might get a four point play here the old fashioned way. But two misses, not really good there for Sokawa. That was a swipe, clearly a foul on Cooks. Is that a four? Little there by the San Emilio Phoenix. Yes. Cooks to the wing. And a flip it up. Getting fouled there. What's kind of Chica? And Chica's long. He's six foot six. And only 20 years old. They feel part of the new wave of youngsters coming in. Kudzinski's going to pick up a foul. His first. What a bewildered look on his face. And the Chica's gonna make it first. And the Chica's one of those players that they feel is a diamond in the rough. They can make both, and you can see there already. So young, but so confident. Two point lead here for the Jets. 6 4. Try to look inside. Dudzinski powers his way through. He's gonna come up short. Cooks picks it up. Forces it forward. Not the back he says, let's wait. Back to Mooney. Cross court pass, open three, yes! That was well run there by the Jets. Finding their open shooter and knocking it down there. 
Clark. 0 for 2 from the field. Mooney picks up a board. Ends up with Togashi. Bounce pass. Hooks. Short of that one. It's a 5 point lead here at 9 to 4. Thirty tries to attack, goes inside, nice layup, but falls just short. Kind of chica with a foul. Two free throws now here for thirty. Is, thirty there exploded to the basket. Looked like he was faking a pass to the side. Short there. Ira Brown will check in. Chica out. Shimi Kanemaru will check in. Far power off the bench. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they've got Yante Martin also coming in. Third is going to miss a free throw. That's three misses already from the line for the boys in white. Nice look at Air Brown. The 40 year old is actually 41 years old. So he's gonna split in the line. The skirmish there. Brown and Matin. Six miles say Happy New Year. He's the down four. Nagashi. Still at the controls. Find space, will come up short though. Oh, that's a pinpoint pass. Ira Brown is actually fronting Yante Matin, but still got in the pass. That was picture perfect. Stephen saying, I got all ball. If it shall say otherwise, as he picks up his first personal foul. So the Mio team is getting to the line. They've missed four already. Oh, no, three, 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 three. That's good mechanics, though. It's going to look good there on that first attempt. That's just five free throws, and they four by four. He's not even five minutes gone. Third, he's going to be called for a foul there. That's a block. Watch it once again. Trying to stay in step with DJ. Could have hurt his elbow there as he continues to play with that left arm. Coming in right now, Tatsumi Yu. This kid is six foot six as well. Very similar to Kanechika. He's 22 years old. That's going to be a miss on that free throw from Stevens. about five and a half to play in the first period. Seven drops. Back up the five point lead at 10-5. Chiba Jet and Lady McKenna Chiba. The Lady is going to take advantage. They go to Kanamaru. Kanamaru. That is literally instant offense. Comes in. That shot, cut the lead down to four. Three. Just ten five a while ago. Two, two, ten, seven. 
Inside, up and under move. A little bit too strong for Cody Clark. That's a poor foul. Cody is going to pick up number one as he heads to the bench. So far, decent lead put up here by the home squad as Yamauchi will check in. With the back of point guard, but usually comes in for Ryusei Sasaki, who is not listed today. Strong move, not gonna net anything. Mauchi kicks it out. Open three. A little bit too strong. They've been getting the shots that they want. Just not knocking it down. Another attempt here. Yamauchi. His pass. Telegraph. And a big slam there by Stevens. Steal. And the score. I kiss it off the glass. Fun. And the book says Cody Clark. Let's move it around first. Ogawa with the basket. And Ira Brown is going to launch and hit. That's what he can do. He can hit from actually anywhere on the floor. Now 15 to 9. Mochi, nice pocket pass. Extra one there. Yante Matten for two. Approaching a three minute mark here in quarter number one. Nice block there by Matten. They're on the break. Four on three. Tanamaru. Knocks down that one from long distance. That's going to cut the lead down on a timeout. We'll have to be called now by Coach John Patrick. Back to the action here at the Tsunabashi Arena. Lead of the Jets. It's one set of six is now just down to one. Let's see the play going to be run here. Of course, John Patrick. Tsugashi from the free throw line. Won't get that to drop. Clark. Has to lob it in. Gets it to Matten. He told him. He called for a foul there. Tobin is another one of those youngsters. Standing six foot six. 
Japanese teams are finding a lot of young, tall, lanky, athletic players. It's going to serve them well. An international player. Matter another poor free throw. He's missed three already. Seven missed free throws. Cody Clark battling inside. Basket and one opportunity. Wow, that is how Cody Clark has made his living. He's bounding offensively. You've got to put somebody much bigger on him. It can't be just Tobin. Tobin can't stay with Clark. And Clark makes him pay. Second personal foul as they bring in Kanichika. Kanichika just as tall but a little stronger than Tobin. It's really all about the positioning more than anything else. And that's exactly what Coach John Patrick is explaining to the youngster. A 30 check back in. Quietly, the San Jose Phoenix have grabbed the lead. Now they're up by two. 17 15. Pitch to give it up. Pitch kicks the Mooney back on the floor. Essentially, now the starting five here. With John Patrick. Quick hand from Clark. Nice swing. Osokawa to the top. 30. We'll get it inside. Cody Clark, yes. 19-15. The second half of this first period has been all San Emilio Phoenix. 30 with a steal. Explodes. And that is going to be an unsportsmanlike foul. 30 getting into the passing lanes. Taking his time. That's going to mean two free throws plus ball possession. Not quite sure if they're going to review this one. The call has been made. And it looked quite clear. That was crystal. Yuki was not making a play on the ball. He was just trying to stop the progress of 30. In that instance, Togashi should have just given him the layup. They might yield more than just two free throws here. They're not even going to review it. That was right in front of the official. Now will take a seat. Coming back in, Asato Ogawa. Also Sota Ora. Okura. Check that. Sota Ora. Plays for the San Antonio Phoenix. Now there will be seven missed free throws for San Antonio. Make that eight. Third is missed two. He's missed three. Wow. They have missed nine free throws here in the first period. And they're still up by four. Defense, 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 defense. going to get fouled. So many fouls already here committed by the boys in red, but the new Phoenix have not cashed in on all these opportunities. Gudzinski <laughs> in as well. Matt has got to work on his free throws. Yeah. As Cody Clark gets a breather. And then a 38 to be played here. Ooh, look at that. Yamauchi, weight glass. He's number five. 
to go grass again? He does. Wow. Now a six point lead for the visitors. Nearly a foul from Wojcicki. Not the best of fouls. He's going to put the Neo Phoenix now in the penalty. Wojcicki, though, with his second personal. You don't reach in on a guard. Sota Ora. Protect that quite well. Turnover here. Actually, only the third on the Chiba Jets. Only one turnover so far for San En. Pretty good as far as taking care of the basketball by these two squads. An offensive foul by Budzinski. That's number three. You didn't have to be overly aggressive. Well, the foul's not going to be on Budzinski. It will be a Hosokawa. Both the towers first. Both teams now in the penalty here for the final minute. And a Chica for three, no. That's rebound by Hosokawa. Here comes Yamauchi. Back and hands it off. 30. Up and under move. Gets denied though. 15. Ora tries to get it inside Yamauchi. To 30, 30. Explosion of the basket, sidestepping move. 30 to Ravenna with two points. And the lead is now eight. What a comeback done here. And the visiting squad in quarter number one. Difference of four seconds from the game clock and the shot clock. They set up an open three. That will be short. Budzinski with the board. They have a chance here. That is a very poor foul from John Mooney. He doesn't like the call. He says there was hardly any contact, but nonetheless, there was. Referees blow the whistle. Already nine misses by the Neo Phoenix from the line here in the first period. And they're still up by eight. Good by ten. Ira Brown sets back in. 2.6 is more than enough time to get up a decent shot. The lead is now nine. What a dramatic turnaround. After trailing by six. One shows 15 to nine. They are now up 25 to 15. Be <laughs> back in. For defensive purposes. We don't want the kids to pick up a third. And Ichika is going to come up short. Ten minutes done here in our final game for 2023. And the visitors looking good up by 10.
a much better looking free throw from Yante Matten. We now extend it 20 to 15. See the jet has been stalled here. Been 15 for quite a while. They've actually led 15 to 9. Can you imagine? That's a nice setup. Might just get them going as Stevens flies high and slams it through. Yeah, they've scored for four and a half minutes. Three not gonna drop. Here come the Jets. Turning on the burner. So Gashi stops. And will not hit. Not able to track it down. And now Marcus says, let me bring it down. With a handoff. Kanamaru. A bit too strong that time. 30 seconds with three sets. Take our time. A brand new 14 here. It's now down to seven. 30. Side stepping move gets denied though. Bugashi to the wing. Brown finds Kanechika. That was wild. To the nine point lead. 30 says, let's make it 11 once again. Are we going to have a quick timeout here from the Chiba Jets? Their offense has not been flowing. Great bounce pass. 30 converts. Coach John Mooney trying to look for a solution here. They got off to a great start. In fact, they're leading a 5 15 to 9. Six points. Swami defense is going to merit the foul. Kura got hemmed in there. Oh my God! Come on, come on, Asking for. And then call, but this has been called. Nice basket there. They really needed that one from John Mooney. Put that down in nine. Matthew with the handoff. That's going to be an offensive foul. If that's on Dudzinski. That's number three. 
Bang bang play there. Oh, they're gonna say it's Kanamaru. But Kanamaru's gonna pick up number two. He's gonna be quickly replaced. They need him. Another steal here from 30. Will 30 try to challenge? No, he won't. Yes, he will. Suddenly turns around, flips it up and through. 30 to Vena with some trickery there. He's back up to 11. Getting that three was DJ Stevens. That will bring the crowd right back into this one. Cody Clark. Slow it down. Matten lifts it up. Short. Open three all day to shoot. Great pass. Offensive rebound. There quickly by Ogawa. Gets it to his big man. And Mooney converts. And now it's time for Atsushi Ono to call this break. Coming out that timeout. Let's see if you on the I'll get on the play. Let's see it unfold. 30 with a little mismatch there. Sends it out. Matten. That's the best of shots. Have we got an opportunity here? A foul is going to be called there. Niante Matten. And a race down for it was Ogawa. With John Patrick asking for an unsportsmanlike like foul there. Play goes on. <laughs> Big three. That's gonna cut the lead of the Neo Phoenix in half. Now it's just 30 27. One stood at 11 at one stage. Dudzinski. Nice yeah, roll to the basket. Yeah. Lead back up to five. Ogawa almost lost it. Mooney inside. Foul's going to be called. Down Dudzinski. Also Sokawa. That was a hack there for Hosokawa. They should give it to Hosokawa. Let's see. They do. It's his second. Still can't get over the fact that the San Antonio Phoenix have missed 10 free throws already. Two shots. On the other side, the Chiba Jets have only gone to the line four times, making three for 75%. And the shoot that percentage going high. Nice look there at Coach Patrick. Right. Sandin here feels already in the penalty. 
with 6.06 still to be played. And before the break. Ora, another starting point. They look inside, Cody Clark, couple of fakes. Flips it up with his left hand. He was wary of the shot blocking ability of DJ Stevens, and why not? Stevens can leap. Open three. Have it come up short. Hosokawa clears. Find 30. 30. We'll get away for two. Pretty Ravenna has been very active in the open court. And he served with steam well. He now has nine points. That equals his contribution from yesterday. David Cook back in action. So far, the leading scorer for the San Antonio Phoenix is Cody Clark with his 12 markers. Back up there by Ravenna. 9 and 30. He's also got two boards. Stevens, lead scorer is here for the Chiba Jets with his ever markers and three rebounds. Quick powwow here as there are a few slick portions on the floor. completely sure why this lull is taking a little bit longer than expected but for the Neo Phoenix this just might work in their favor because the momentum has suddenly switched over to the other side and that has been the problem that is what they are trying to repair portion of the floor A lot of the floors here in professional basketball already have a lot of stickers, which is part of the branding, which sometimes causes problems. Back to the action now. Seven point advantage enjoyed by 30 and his squad. I think more than anything else, he hasn't done anything yet. They swing it inside, Cooks! And they're gonna say, we're going the other way. Call a charge. Establishing his position there inside was Cody Clark. He's gonna have a challenge here. Looks like it. But the challenge has to come from Coach John Mooney. Well, so Clark was definitely out of the restricted area. Coach John Patrick probably saying he has not yet established position, which is true, but at the same time, the offensive player just barreled his way in, lowered his shoulder. He can make a case for either call. Good hit. A head coach challenge, but the initial call I saw was a charge, and then eventually they changed it. I guess I called the foul on Cody Clark.
There's a quick review. ボールを取ってきてこいが立たせてアンスポーツマンライクファールにアップグレードされていますアンスポーツマンライクファールこれはアンスポーツマンライクファールこれはアンスポーツマンライクファールこれはアンスポーツマンライクファールこれはアンス
Could you check that? Kazaki, not a great to tell. Get space and knocks it down. Kazaki can get to any point on the floor that he wants to. Dudzinski, three. Just short. Cody Clark for defensive rebound. Will attack. Up and under move. Basket and one opportunity there. Cody Clark has really worked the offensive boards all throughout the afternoon. Gets one over Kanechika. Watch it here. Kanechika went up for the block. Picks up the foul. His second. And now Cody Clark with a bonus free throw. Drop another miss. And Cody Clark is one of the better free throw shooters for this squad. So Gashi flips it up. We'll come up short though. He's gonna get another opportunity. Mooney. Mooney, that's too easy. Kanamaru just can't stop him. Not to mention the fact that Kanamaru also has two fouls. Second stop, Zizinski. Now to Yamauchi. A good pass from Kanamaru. Not a good foul there from Yamauchi as well. He's going to send Kodashi to the line. With two easy shots. Two shots. Yamauchi probably didn't realize the fact that they were in the penalty. But Gashi's gonna miss. And now the Chiba Jets starting to miss from the free throw line as well. You can see the disappointment on the face there of Yuki. Second's gonna drop, and that's gonna drop the lead here. Back and back. Nice find, Kanamaru, yes! Togashi asking for a foul for a kick. Let's see, this is a good angle to look at. So Karamaru really comes forward and he takes that shot. So quite possibly you can argue it's not out anything out of the ordinary. Togashi doesn't like it though. He says I was doing a flyby. In contact with his leg. Asking for a review, hopefully, but not going to be given. Four point play here. Make it a 13 point advantage. We're going to count this one. And you see, Kugashi was really livid. He said, I'm going to get this back any which way I can. Cups the basketball, lays it through, and says, take that! And he continues to plead his case. First personal foul going to be called there, Cody Clark. One shot. Bugashi can lose the three point play. He can lead down to 10. Open three, Clark wide. 
time to play some music, he says. He's back up to 13. Approaching the two minute mark here. Kodachi against Yamauchi. Shot clock winding down. Stevens will rim out. Tanachika almost got it. 30 picks it up. Yamauchi. Ooh, Kanamaru just launches. He'll miss fire though. Point lead enjoyed by the near Phoenix. This ball falls in the energy. Xavier Cook's back. Both teams now in the penalty. Not quite sure why Yamauchi was trying to reach in. You can't reach in and foul. You're going to give Togashi two free throws. You've got to move your feet. Hora back. A minute and a half still to be played. Two shots. Second for Togashi coming up. Today. In control, look at a pass. Intercepted though. Nice tip with the back. From Cook. Gosh, he can't find space. Stumbles a little bit, finds Kanichika open for three. No. Cook's offensive rebound. Togashi, quick three. Back rims that one. Another offensive rebound by Cook. There a minute to be played. Cooks now inside, lays it in. Ooh. Bit of a late call here. Cooks goes up. Misses. Looks like we're going to call a foul on Yante Matin. Thirty back on the floor. Fifty-two point six seconds remaining. Here in the second quarter. 
No need some last minute instructions as we've got Cooks on the line for two shots. Two shots. Three throw there. He took High looper. Cooks yesterday had 18 points, 10 rebounds. Get two free throws to drop. Leads. Still at nine. To the new team. Sanamaru. Offense pass. Well, the shot didn't drop. And the offensive pass is going to be called on Yante Matten. Zinski back. Cooks will be replaced. Very nice for defensive purposes. As DJ Stevens re enters the ball game. Nice find. Curling from the weak side there was DJ Stephens. Gets that one to drop, and the lead is down to seven. Shot popped off. That's not what you want to happen. Sota Okura. With the steal. Would have been okay if you didn't even get a shot up. If you were the San Anil Phoenix. But you issue a pass that was stolen. Laid up on the other end. And your once 13 point lead has now been cut down to five. Two quarters done here. At the Funabashi Arena. And it's 51 for the San Anil Phoenix. 46 for the Chiba Jets.
These are highlights from the first two quarters of play. And that was the final play of the half. Could have been, should have been a seven point lead here for the San Antonio Phoenix, but that last minute still will bring it down to five as we take a look at the numbers. Both teams shooting very well from the field, two point distance, 66% for San An, 57% for the Chiba Jets. Both of them not shooting that well from the three point distance, as you can see, essentially mirroring themselves. Four out of 15 for Chiba, four out of 14 for San En. Free throws, this is where it becomes really big. 80% shooting for the Jets, 12 out of 15, but already 12 missed free throws for the Neo Phoenix. In terms of turnovers, six for the Jets, seven for the San En Neo Phoenix. Actually, they only had two at the end of the first period. 21 and 14, those numbers reflect the bench points as we take a look at the leading scorers, leading rebounders, and leading assist men. 13 points for Stephens. Stephens also has six boards, and Ogawa's got five dimes. Cody Clark with 21 points, Aura with five rebounds, and Aura also with five assists. If you're interested about more scoring numbers, Togashi has 10, Muni also with 10, and 9 apiece for Ravenna and Kanamaru. More rebounding numbers, Muni also has 3 together with Xavier Cooks, and 3 apiece for Hosokawa and Clark. We've got a key player matchup there so far. Cody Clark already with 21 points as compared to the 10 of Muni. Clark is a real explosive import. More assist numbers. Togashi's got three dimes. Three also for 30 Ravenna. And Yamauchi has two. Second half, just about ready to begin. Once again, if you're just joining us, these two squads faced each other yesterday. San En winning 90 to 81. Matten led the scoring with 21 points, 14 rebounds for the winners. On the other side, Yuki Togashi had 28 points, five assists, and two boards in a losing effort. Both these squads led in the first half. We were led by six. San Antonio Phoenix actually led by 13. That was in the third period. Here's Togashi. Flips it up, yes. Good start here for Yuki. Now it's four points. Little far cry from the 28 that he had yesterday. But we do have two more periods still to be played. Get out, Ora. It's gonna be set 30. Try to bring it closer, find some space, and flips it through. 30 Ravenna now in double digits. So Dashi steps back, puts up a three, overshoots. 30 with the board. 30 in the open court to the corner. Osakawa hits. Off an assist there from 30 Ravenna. And quickly, the lead back up to 8. Only 4 points in the contest so far for Osakawa. He has 1 out of 3 from 3 throws a while ago. Mooney gets fouled there by Matten. Matten for all ball and he's looking at the monitor saying that is what I was talking about. So the referee say well, he called the foul because there was a block down below as well. There was some contact there.
Things looking good so far here for Coach Asushi Ono. Mack is going to hit the bench. Dijinsky back in. Mack in a tremendous numbers yesterday, but today has not really had a good scoring day. Cody. That's a great pass. Right. Off the switch. This is Kogashi. Suddenly it's Gudzinski. Now Gudzinski with eight points. I was going to be called on 30 there. Checking personal foul on 30. Pick up the dribble. Mooney will be attacked from the 15 foot line. Will come up short. Clark will bring it down. Other runner set. A good matchup inside the Jinsky. We'll get denied there. Good defense by Cook. The baby hook was well, Tony Raven is going to pick up another foul there. That would be number three. He might have to be replaced. Baby so far having an exceptional ball game with 11 points, two boards, and four assists. He'll be coming out though. Defense from the wing, no. Nice track down, coming from Ora. Kuczynski. Stand up for 30 there. Ravenna will be replaced. You can see the grimace on his face. He wanted to stay in there. Checking in and instead, it's Tatsumi Yu. Clark now. Lane point. Nice lay in there. Coming from you. Able to easily contribute right away upon his first entry. Overshooting there. Cook kicks it out. Open three. Finally. Sort of saying, I've been standing here for quite a while. Eventually got it, knocks it down. Leads four at seven. Right. Now in the attack. Behind the back pass. Not a good okay. shot. He was open though. Not a good release. Take. Then he puts one up and through. Back to back threes here for the Chiba Jets. I've got them to within four. What's the power the hand up? Hora. That's the special to Hosokawa. He's going to miss fire though. Going to be another foul? Yes, it is. That's going to put the San Antonio Phoenix in the penalty. Okay, Xavier Cooks. Xavier Cooks back in. Yamauchi. He enters the fray. We're double checking if a foul was called. There's a stoppage of play here of that rebound. 
Kosuki Kanamaru back in as well. So no foul is going to be called. Yante Matin. Also checks in. Both one lead enjoyed by the San Antonio Phoenix. Okura's gonna launch. That's a rebound there. That's kind of cheetah. Autogashi trying to go to work. Push it up. It's not gonna drop. Cooks finally gets it to go. And the lead is down to two. Five points in the contest for Cooks. Clark has to get this big man inside. The swing is back out. Shot clock down to seven. Clark from the wing. That is out. Now a chance for the home squad to tie things up or even take the lead with a three. Yes, they take the lead. Nothing Coach Atsushi Ono can do but sue for time. They're leading by 13. Now the San Antonio Phoenix four by one. Foul is going to be called. A little bit of a delayed call there. But the Kura nonetheless will pick up a personal. Now our tally. And suddenly the home squad find themselves up by one. Half of the third quarter done. Baby back in. Three fouls in all. A little bit of a gamble being played here. Not a good pass. What is Cody Clark thinking? Panamaro has no advantage there. Cooks scores and it's now a three point lead at 63 to 60. Seven points in the contest here for Savior. And find some space eventually. Get to the clock. 30. Maybe a couple of moves. Just short in that one. Asking for a foul, none given. Here come the Jets. John. Fine savior. Savior's gonna come up short though. 
Here's Yamauchi on the break. 30, nice spin. Gets to his import. Matten scores. Another dime here for 30 Ravenna. He picks up assist number five. Will be called there in Cody Clark, and that's gonna put the San Diego Phoenix in the penalty. So I thought it was clean. Officials don't agree. So the to the We're gonna try to pick in the pace here. We want a sizable advantage heading into the fourth. Ora stayed right in front of him. Togashi is still gonna hit though. Wow, Togashi is special. Now with 18 points. 28 yesterday. Nice slip inside. Match is going to be fouled. Two free throws coming up here. Off that foul from Sota Fura. Wide play. Gets it above, but he brought it down. That's why the small man was able to get a stab at it. Match and go. It's been very poor from the free throw line. And it continues. The shooting rolls. 13 misses as a team for the San Jose team. That one will drop. John Mooney will check back in. Under three minutes to be played. Nice swing, open three, Okura can't convert. Here comes Ora. Let's get over. We'll get it back though. Right. That's to explode to the basket. Can't get the drop, but he'll sell us the two free throws. Coming in now is Asato Ogawa. Look at him praying. At such a young age, already enjoying the sport of basketball. shot but nonetheless it's gonna drop Stephens with a three and now a four-point lead once again enjoyed by the Jets 16 points in the contest here for DJ once again Cody Clark will hit Cody Clark can turn out the points he's got 25 right now Nice find inside, Mooney with a big slam. Perfect ball movement from side to side and then the cut by Mooney.
Maru, yes. Timely hit. They need to heat up. He's got 12 points. Got the lead down to one. Under a minute to be played. And again, to bash the control. Time gets denied by his teammate on the national squad. That's why they're friendly. Basket and one opportunity as Yante Matin got lost in the mix there. I believe McMatin is saying, you know what, if I fall there from that far out, that can't be a continuation. And I agree with him. Coach Ono saying, how could that have been a foul counted situation? Four personal fouls now on Yante and Gudzinski back in. One shot. You might not see Yante Matin until the five minute mark of the fourth. Mooney converts, lead back up to four. Gudzinski, main point, and we're over to the real point in order. Ora now making his move to the left hand, overshoots. Muni has also gotten his share of rebounds here today. With seven, seven birds also for season. Difference of about 10 seconds in the game clock and the shot clock. Togashi wants to make this one count. Stevens from the outside, yes! Sweet shooting DJ. And the lead is up to seven. Wanting to retaliate is Clark, and he'll be called for traveling. Stevens doing his job on both ends. Catch and shoot, and there, forcing the travel. 1.5 might not be enough here for a legitimate shot. And Togas is going to lose it. Three quarters done here at the Funabashi Arena. A big third quarter for the squad of Chiba as they outscore San En 31 to 19. And they lead by seven, heading into the fourth. Final quarter. 
fourth quarter is upon us. Our final quarter for 2023. I'd like to thank all of you for joining us as we're here from the Funabashi Arena, the home of the Chiba Jets, and they're looking good. Getting to the final 10 minutes. Kuczynski will attack John Mooney, though. To get to the line, the big question is, will the San Mia Phoenix make their free throws? They've already missed 13. In fact, they missed 10 in the first quarter alone. There's another miss. If the San Mia Phoenix go on to lose this ball game, that is one of the factors they're going to be able to look at and say, that's why we got the loss. San Antonio Phoenix with a tremendous record right now. 21 and 4. Another miss. And a poor foul there from Cody Clark. Mooney has really done his job. Picks up rebound number 8. Maybe the third personal foul for Cody Clark. So Clark got three. Ravenna's got three. Matlin's got four. That will also be a factor down the stretch. Ravenna's on the floor, though. Not the best of shots. Ravenna. Now in the open court. Trying to look for space. Trying to force the issue. Good okay. hands though from Ogawa. I see that was a Kura. Save the foot back in action. The Stevens will take his seat. He helped to get the Jets to speed. John Patrick hey, debating something here okay. with his coaching staff and it's going to be a head coach's challenge because coach John Patrick felt it went off Ravenna and that's also what I saw so Ravenna did touch it last and this should be a successful head coach's challenge for coach John Patrick which is going to get the Jets the ball. Already John Patrick calling out a play. Referees just want to make sure they're taking a look at multiple angles. And here's their call. Coach challenge is successful. Our <laughs> possession and open up an even bigger lead here. This is actually the biggest lead in the ball game for the Jets. Stays at seven. Aura, bring it down quickly. Nice into this lead. Dudzinski puts up a three. Yes! He's going to cut the lead down to four. And here comes the San Diego Phoenix. Looking to duplicate their victory they had yesterday. 90 to 81. Quick hands. Almost a steal. It is. Clark. In the open court, he's taking his time. That's a good foul, actually, coming from Okura. Just giving up two free throws. That would have been a sure layup. Ooh, in fact, that looked to me. They're going to call a foul, the third personal on Okura. Can the San Antonio Phoenix make their free throws? We'll find out. Cody Clark, a very good free throw here. <laughs> Rattles in the first. Yeah. 
He'll make both. Let's have lead down to two. He's going to take a quick breather here. Yanko Mato with his four fouls back in the ball game. Seeing what he can contribute because right now he's playing on borrowed time. Ogawa. Not playing the one. Okay, got the got in there as well. Threading the needle. What a pass. And Mooney will get the two points plus an offensive rebound. Back up to four is the lead. The pass inside. Batten converts. Good stuff now from both these squads. Finding the mismatch and going to it. I'll be called there. And Karamaru. Clearly a foul. Karamaru with four. The Matin, Karamaru with four. 30 with three. Cody Clark with three. The Gashi score. With Matin in front of him. They send a double. They try to get it out of his hands. And 30 Ravenna. Can't believe the call. That'll be number four on 30. <laughs> Well, he reached in. Yes, the referee was in the best of spots to see whether it was clear or not, but a lot of times the moment you reach in, you get your hand caught in the cookie jar, as they say. So Gashi gets away, flips it up, will be short. Nice tap by Mooney. Okura, that's gonna drop. The lead is back up to four. Only two points in the contest here so far for Asaka Ugawa. But it's coming a big time. 30, 3, no. Dudzinski gets it. Recovers, gets denied though. Matten, denied as well. They push it forward. In the open court, and a foul is going to be called on 30. He's done. 30 was trying to get out of the way. Let's watch it again. But 30 Ravenna has fouled out. Actually, a smart play there by Stephens. There was no contact whatsoever. Maybe you can challenge here. We should be having a coach's challenge here from coach Atsushi Ono. They want to keep Raven in the ball game. They want to deny two free throws for the Chiba Jets. So as it stands, those are the ones in foul trouble. Four for Matin, four for Kanamaru, three apiece for Clark and Hosokawa. In the meantime, 30 Ravenna has fouled out. Not yet official though. They could reverse it. Are they making a review? No, they're not. They're not reviewing it, so 30's out. Coach Ono there pleading his case, hoping that maybe somewhere down the line they'll get a call coming his way. But as it stands, one of the imports for the San Antonio Phoenix, the Asia Quota import in 30 Ravenna, done for the afternoon. Thirty Ravenna had a very good game while he was on the floor as he continues to shake his head there on the bench. Cody Ravenna will finish with 11 points. 
and almost 24 minutes of action. He also had two rebounds and six assists. Back up a five-point lead for the host. Ora will come up short. Matten with a putback, and he got fouled. Again, I'm going to ask this question all throughout the afternoon. Can Matten hit free throws? He's missed seven already. The entire squad of Simon has missed 15. The majority from that gentleman right there. He misses another one. Three throw miss, number 16. And that's why the fans of the San Emilio Phoenix are up in arms. And those smiles were coming from the fans of the Chiba Jets. Two misses. And the fans here at the Funabashi Arena loving every minute of those misses. Two minutes gone. So Gashi's gonna get a layup to drop. So Gashi now, two twenty points. Back up to seven. It's the biggest lead that they've enjoyed. Sokawa. Kick it back out. Shot clock. Winding down. Clark forcing the issue. He threw it up. He knew there was going to be a foul called. The foul is right there. I thought he got a little cut in the lip there. Where's the dash? We're going to have to work on him on the sidelines. This game getting a little physical already. They might say it's an unsportsmanlike foul. There was the hit. That was actually a basketball move, really. He was coming down. The problem is Fugashi is much, much smaller than him. Hence the contact. Here's the call. They say just a foul. A foul on Togashi. He can't believe it. As you mentioned, that was a basketball move. He was coming down with the ball. He wasn't actually leading with the elbow. That's a good call. Three throws right now for the San Diego Phoenix again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Missing 17. Will they miss a whole lot more? At that time from Cody Clark. Clark now approaching 30 points. Both the explanations from the referee. Saying it is all one move. He did not lead with the elbow. We're going to have an exciting finish here this Sunday. What a way to cap off 2023. Don't go away. Enjoy the action. Right before the new year. Mooney for three. Rattles out. Under the board. He'll bring it down himself. Quick three. Not going to work. Yamauchi collects. Player still down. He 
not moving what, whatsoever. DJ Stephens. See what transpired. He fell down hard, banged his head on the hardwood. A lot of times you can get a concussion from a fall like that. And he's still not moving. What's Patrick? How is this one a foul? That foul on the referees there. Oh. He fell on his back, and then eventually his head made contact with the floor. Very similar to the fall that they had in the KBL a few days ago with Renza Bando. Are they going to replace? DJ is looking like he's okay, at least for the time being. They're not gonna need the stretcher, they wave off the stretcher. They slowly move over to the sidelines though. Let's go, DJ! Why they're going to need his outside sniping? As Cooks will come in to replace him for the me for okay, the, at least okay, for the meantime. Here, With just 5:47 remaining in the contest, he might not be back in action. They're going to bring him over to the locker room to do some tests, which is good. Good precautionary measure. You can see he's still not right. The third year of Vena is out on fouls. DJ Stephens out with a possible concussion. Both teams now in the penalty. This is going to be a free throw shooting contest for the last 5.47. See their 30 on your screens a while ago. He's done. Coach Ono checking with his coaching staff here. Nonetheless, it's going to be two free throws coming up here for the San Anil Phoenix. And there you can see Chiba Jens, Nine. Nine. champion 2018 and 2020. But they've been struggling. Right now they're just at 13 and 12. And they've actually lost three of their last five encounters. They might just get a win here after all these free throw misses. 18 misses from the free throw line. Even if you convert just half of those, it's nine points. And then could be up by five. We got you. We'll bring it out. There's a round. We'll have to put this one up. Forces up a three. Not going to work. They push it forward. Matin. To the wing, Hosokawa, quick launch and hits. That's a game. Catch and shoot. So Kazuki now with seven points. Okawa with a floater. It'll drop. Okawa now with his second basket. He has the final five minutes. Get it out. The aura. Shot clock's winding down. They go inside. Nathan looking for space. Flips it up. Gets his own miss. He'll be heading to the line. When we come back off this break, that's going to give him some time to think about these two free throws, which could possibly give his squad 
the lead. Look, another miss. Time he converts. And he's a lead down to two. 30. Now a cheerleader at this stage. Ogawa. Nice pass. And Cooks converts. Leads back up to four. Oh, he's a short quarterback in Gray Squad. Matten forces the issue. We'll get two points there, though. Almost lost possession. That stage, why not call it? If you're the Chiba Jets. Don't allow him to get those easy layups. Force him to hit those free throws. Under four minutes to be played. Loader is not going to work. Nice rebound by Matten. Here comes Cody Clark. Cody Clark kisses it off the glass and we're tied at 88. Only the second deadlock of this contest as we enter the final three and a half minutes. We got a good one to end the year here. Togashi wants to end the year with a win. Mooney, floater, not going to drop. Another big rebound there by Matten. He pushes it forward. Yamauchi to the corner. Catch and shoot, Kanamaru. No. Sugashi will bring it down. Trying to change the pace here just a little bit. Sugashi to the wing. Ogawa. No. Mooney offensive rebound. Sugashi puts up a three. Not the best of shots. Matten, another rebound. Yante with eight already here. To go with his 11 markers. Kosokawa looking for space. Ooh, passes it to no one. Togashi, back to Mooney. Back to Togashi. And they'll set it up. A lot of time in their shot clock. It's still 13. Go inside. Mooney with a jumper. He'll miss fire, but a foul's gonna be called on Hosokawa. 
to two free throws coming up here for Savior. Two big free throws coming up here. Prior to that, Savior doing very well from the free throw line. That's actually just the fifth miss for the entire Jet squad. They're 16 out of 21. He's a pressure laden free throws. We'll make the second. That's a great sign. DJ Stevens back in. He's going to need his sweet shooting from the outside, not to mention his defense. Welcome to the Twilight Zone, the final two minutes of this ball game. Yamauchi launches and hits. It's a two point lead right now for the visitors. Nothing phases Yamauchi. This guy's 33 years old. He's been there, done that. And that's why he's in the ball game here in the latter stages. A minute 50 to be played. Two point lead enjoyed by the visitors. But the Jets with possession. They can tie things up. And take the lead with a three. Akura. Still with possession to the wing. DJ Stephens for three. Short. Mooney. Another offensive board. Got a brand new 14 to work with. They were looking for the three. They were looking for the lead. Open three. Okura. No. Offensive rebound. DJ Stephens. Togashi to tie things up. Yes. Getting two big offensive rebounds. And eventually the score to tie things up at 91. Yamauchi gets fouled. Boy, he's taking advantage of these opportunities given to him by Coach Ono. Swipe going to be called on Kanechika. That's his fourth foul. Now two big free throws for the veteran, Morihisa. This is the first one off the glass. He's done that thrice already here. He's going to save it all. Look at this handful of San Marino Phoenix faithful traveling here to the Funabashi Arena. Can okay, I distract him? That 
will drop. Keep on lead once again for the visitors. They won 90 to 81 yesterday. Hope you can make it back to back. And 2023. The pass of Mooney goes awry. Cody Clark. the ball away from Matin's hands especially with the opponents in penalty we go to Morihisa once again inspiring Matin still try to go to their main man inside for the lead no Matin picks it up he gives it up that's a wise move and a foul will have to be called in done there that's a smart move from Togashi, just to extend this game. Fourth personal foul now on Yuki. Try and ice this contest. 93-91 with these two free throws. That could be the victory here for the San Antonio Phoenix. But a timeout will now be called by the Chiba Jets as they try to ice Cody Clark. Fourteen point four seconds remaining in this one. Two big free throws for Cody Clark. The San Antonio Phoenix have missed seventeen free throws already, and they miss another one. The second free throw will make it. Still, just a one possession ball game. Gets the second one to drop. No timeout going to be called here. 14.4 seconds remaining. Needing a three of the Chiba Jets to tie things up. Dogashi launches. Hits. I'm quite shocked that they will allow Togashi to be able to get to his spot. You foul at this stage. The moment he was moving towards his side, you foul him. Well, as they say, two schools of thought, they allow the shot to go up for Togashi. He nailed it, and we're tied at 94.
5.7 remaining in this one. Chance for the San Emil Phoenix to get back-to-back -back victories here. We got possession. Now they're going to check the clock. I thought they should have checked that clock a little bit earlier. There should be at least six seconds. Now they'll check it after the timeout. Even 6.3. More than enough time. You go to Cody Clark. We don't have any more onto the clock. They say we leave it at 5.7. Okay. Yamauchi will be inbound. We find Clark in the corner. Clark, couple of moves, puts it up, Matten gets it to drop at the right place at the right time, Togashi for the win, no, and the San Emil Phoenix will steal the victory, despite the fact that they've missed 20 free throws, they still will get the W, win number 22 on the season. What a game. And the San Daniel Phoenix, after losing the third period 31 to 19, win the fourth 26 to 17. What a dramatic turnaround. What a great game to end 2023. Don't go away. We're not yet done. We're going to hear from Coach Ono and the players of the San Daniel Phoenix before we formally close the B League for 2023. At this stage, though, the Chiba Jets have now lost four out of their last six games, and they've lost back-to-back -back here at the Funabashi Arena, both to these San Daniel Phoenix The Neo Phoenix will exit the court, get ready for the interviews, and also prepare for the coming new year. The Jets will address their fans. The final time they're going to address their fans here for the year 2023. Well, they did go to Cody Clark. As expected, he came up short. Yante Matin at the right place at the right time put it through. Matin would finish with 11 points, 11 rebounds. A big double double there for Yante. Clark would finish with 34 points. Kosuke Kanamaro had 12. Hosokawa Yamauchi with seven apiece. And that man there, 30 Ravenna, also contributing to this win with his 11 points and six assists. Stick around. We're going to hear from Coach Atsushi Ono in a bit. So you have a handful of San Daniel Phoenix fans enjoying the proceedings and why not their team got the win here is coach Ono
Very nice statement there from Coach Ono. As he said, the players just kept on fighting throughout the game. It's very hard to beat the Jets at Funabashi Arena, and he knows that because he was a former coach of the Chiba Jets, and he's glad that his squad got the victory. This gentleman, Yamauchi, was big in the fourth. Well, clearly they missed their starting point guard, Ryosei Sasaki, who's number 24. And uh, that's exactly what Morihisa Yamauchi talked about, saying that we didn't have our starting point guard. We did the very best we could. I was going to fight instead of him. I took his spot. And in the second half, we got it done. I was asked to shoot a little bit more by Coach Ono. I did, and luckily, that three-point shot went down. He also made four free throws. For the 23 they made. As we take a look at some of the highlights here of our final match in the B-League for 2023. And it promised to be one of the better ones. Still here. For DJ Mooney. Check that DJ's defense, and he finishes with a slam. Kanamaru would check in, and would give them instant offense. Kanamaru would finish with 12. This is where they made their living, offensive rebounding. Kaishu Tobin just couldn't stop. That gentleman right there, Cody Clark, led all scorers with 20, 34 points. First period ended in favor of San N by 10, 25 to 15. Chiba Jets made some headway in the second quarter, led by the defensive effort put together once again by Stephens. Look at this move by 30. That was beautiful to watch. Kick out. Sweet shooter. That's why he's in there. At the wings. Hits back-to-back -back threes. And his squad got right back into it. Cody Clark replies. So the half would end in favor here. Of the San Anil Phoenix, 51 of 46. Kanamaru there will get a four point play. Togashi didn't appreciate it. Togashi came right back, attacked, got a three point play. He was angry. And this play ended the first two quarters of play.
That will cut the lead to five. And then in the second half, the third quarter belonged to the home squad. The Hosokawa hit that three. But they won the third, 31 to 19. They started to heat up here. Another three launched there by Okura, finding its mark. And then Togashi joins the three-point party. And why not their best shooter? Stevens hits, and he gave his squad a 77 to 70 advantage heading into the fourth. There's Kanamaru once again. Catch and shoot. And in the fourth, this is a foul there on Matten, which was questioned by the coaching staff because that shouldn't have been a continuation. But nonetheless, the officials say otherwise. Another great shot from the outside. Looking at the three-point percentages, the Jets, 11 out of 33. On the other side, San and Neil Phoenix were 9 out of 26. But the fourth quarter, that belonged to the visitors. Dudzinski hit a three. He also played good defense and manned the boards quite well. Look at that pocket pass. Threading the needle. Finds Mooney for two. Perfect position there for Mooney as he got the put back. And then Togashi lays it high off the glass. They push it forward. Catch and shoot that time. Hosokawa. And that gave his squad a two-point lead at that stage. Yamauchi, his only three of the contest, turned out to be one of the backbreakers here. He would hit two free throws. After that, this one kept him in the ball game. And when they were down by three, Yuki Togashi nails that one, tying things up at 94, which set up the final play for Cody Clark. That's the situation. Clark would attack. Came up short. Matten was at the right place. Gets it and puts it through for the game winner. Look at the numbers. Both these squads shot well over 50% from two-point distance. Sanen at 57%, 52% for the Jets. We talked about the three-point shooting percentage. Free throws plus five for the San Antonio Phoenix, but they shouldn't have been close if they did not miss 20 free throws. Just about even in terms of the turnovers, nine turnovers for the Jets, 10 for the squad of Sanen. Six and 23. Look at the big discrepancy here. That was fast break points. So Sanen just ran the Jets to the ground. 34, 32. Those are the points in the paint. Just about even. Some more numbers. 40 rebounds apiece. And in assists, even at 20 to 21, as we have the leading scorers, 34 points here for Clark. Matten with 11 boards and 8 assists for Ora. On the flip side, the Jets, 25 points for Togashi, 13 rebounds for Mooney, and 8 big assists for Ogawa. More scoring leaders, Stevens would have 20, 19 points put up by John Mooney. Yante Matten with 13 points. Kanamaru would finish with 12. 
as we take a look at a key player matchup. 19 points for Mooney and 34 huge markers for Cody Clark. More rebounding numbers for the winners. Aura had nine boards. Clark with five. Nine rebounds for DJ Stephens and five for Xavier Cooks. If you're interested in assist numbers, five assists for Togashi, two for Mooney, and six there for Ravenna, and two for Yamauchi. That's going to do it here for our coverage. Once again, thank you so much for joining us all throughout 2023 for Beely coverage. Do join us next week as we have more basketball games coming your way. Till then, take care. Have a happy new year. God bless.